Hello, I'm Lara from Geoscience Australia, and today we're going to look at fossils and what they tell us about the past on the Earth. So let's start with this rock here. Have a close look at the top and see what you can find. That's right, yes, it's covered in fossils and all of those fossils are shells. Each of those shells is about the size of my thumbnail here. Where do you normally find shells? Yeah, the beach, or what scientists would call a shallow marine environment. Now this rock was found out near the airport here in Canberra at a place called Woolshed Creek. Now Canberra is two hours inland from the beach. So how do you think shells came to be on a rock here in Canberra? I'll give you a minute to think about it. There's a piece of information I didn't give you. And that's that this rock is 430 million years old. So that makes this rock older than the dinosaurs. Does that change your thinking? Yeah, well that must mean then that Canberra 430 million years ago was a beach. In fact, Canberra was the edge of the continent back then. So then, here's Canberra on a map. If I were to look west at that time, all I could see was active volcanoes. If I were to look east, then all we can see is ocean. So there's nowhere to build those eastern cities, so Sydney or Newcastle, all the way up to Brisbane. None of that land existed. And if we look inland, looking west, all we can see is active volcanoes. And creatures like brachiopods, they were all living and breathing on the bottom of the ocean. And between 430 million years ago and today, more rock has been built onto the eastern coast of Australia. So now there is a place to build Sydney or Newcastle, Wollongong, Brisbane. Those volcanoes have stopped and Canberra has been brought up about 600 metres above sea level. And the only reason we know about that in the past is because the rocks tell us that. The rocks tell us about the changes in environment and the changes in the life forms over time. Have a look at the specimen here. This is a beautiful fossil. It's a beautiful shell. And to understand this one, we need to look at this map. So this is what we call an elevation map. So when I hear elevation, I think of an elevator, you know, a lift, it goes up and down. So this map is showing you the height above and below sea level of Australia. And down here is the scale. So dark green here is the beach level. And as we go up through the colors, we go up higher and higher. So this is the Great Dividing Range here. Canberra is right here in the red bit, surrounded by high bits. But this shell was found here. Can you see this bit here? It's all the same sort of colour, all green and yellow. It's all very flat. So if this shell was found there, if I then tell you that this shell is between three and five million years old, what does that tell you about this part of Australia? Well, that's right. This used to be a beach, it used to be a coral reef, and in fact this boundary here is the old continental edge of Australia. So rocks and fossils tell us about the past, and about the past environment, about the life forms that lived in the past. So the next time you're out and about and you see a fossil, remember that it has a story to tell you. Ask it a good question. <laughs>